Hey guys, so I'm here with another review. This time it is going to be the Confessions of a Booktuber tag. There's quite a few questions, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Because I have no money whatsoever, I just use iSight on my MacBook Pro and I edit with iMovie. Once I start like actually working at my new job and start getting a paycheck and getting all my bills out of the way, I'm going to start saving up for that along with a few other things. I need a new car, I need to save up for VidCon. I am also saving up for a Canon 60D and a possibly Final Cut Pro. I'm not too sure about Final Cut Pro yet just because I enjoy using iMovie. But I feel like if I got Final Cut Pro, I would have a lot more freedom to do what I want with my videos. Um, so that brings on the question, if any of you guys use Final Cut Pro or any of the Final Cut products, let me know in the comments below how you like them and if you would recommend using them. Because like I said, I'm leaning towards getting it, but I'm still not sure. I'm not sure how many hours a week I spend because it varies on how many videos I put up that week. It generally takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to record a video depending on what I'm posting, but it averages around 15 to 20 minutes. As for editing, it takes me generally about 30 to 45 minutes. A lot of that is just me deciding whether a piece of information should stay in the video or if I should cut it out because it slows the video down because I ramble a lot. You guys just don't know it. So yeah, it generally takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to edit a video. The video itself, I just do in one take. I just repeat the same lines over and over again because I have no speaking skills whatsoever and it takes me forever to finally get it the way I want it to or without me saying um and like every other word. So I filmed the video itself in one take, but I redo almost every line multiple times. Like I do my intros probably at least five or six times before I get it right. It used to be easiest for me to film videos at night just because everyone was sleeping and I have yet to tell my family that I put videos on YouTube. Oh hey, you know, I talked to a camera by myself and put it on the internet for the world to see. But now, um, because of the schedule my parents work, they all sleep during the day and they go to work at night. So now I generally film sometime between 11 and 2 o'clock, although it's almost 3 o'clock right now. But that way the lighting is a lot better and it doesn't make me look orange. I move my hands around a lot and I never realized I did it until I went back and started watching some of my videos and I'm like over here doing like this and I'm like oh my goodness I don't know what it is. I think it's I can't sit still for long periods of times like if I'm sitting down I'm always doing something and so I think that's it. I think it's just because I can't sit still. Now this quote isn't exactly from a book that I love. I did enjoy the book but I just really loved the line. I'm only 17 years old and I already know something she doesn't know. I know that life isn't life if you just float through it. I know that the whole point, the only point, is to find the things that matter and hold on to them and fight for them and refuse to let them go. I absolutely loved that line. It was definitely one of my favorite quotes from all the books that I have read this year. I think honestly it might be this one because I think I'm going to do a bit more editing on this one. I think I'm going to do some color correction on this video, so I think it might be this one. And also because of the recommendation at the end of the video, which we will get to, but I think this might be the video that I am most proud of. I generally take a shower right before I start filming, so it generally takes me about an hour, because I seem to take a shower and then it takes me forever to figure out what to wear. So generally about an hour. I'm pretty sure it was the Halloween Reads video that Jesse over at Jesse the Reader uploaded and I will up put the link right here somewhere. I remember because I was really tired when I watched it and I went to bed right after. So I'm pretty sure it was that one. My favorite booktube videos are Priscilla over at the Readables, her bookshelf tours. For whatever reason, whenever she does a bookshelf tour, I get so entranced. There's one and a half of them. First of all, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoyed the book. 
Um, I did a review on it. it. It was one of the first book reviews that I did and it was really embarrassing. I enjoyed the book up until the end. I hated the ending. I, I thought it was ridiculous and everybody else loved it. They're like, oh, it's such a great ending and I, I did not like it at all. Then I read Clockwork Orange and I hated that book. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was the most boring book. I, I didn't even finish it. And everybody loved Clockwork Angel and they're like, oh, it's so much better than the Mortal Instruments series. Her writing has improved. and. I honestly like City of Bones better. I did not like Clockwork Angel at all, so uh, so definitely those two books. Um, you know, I was thinking about this last night when I was like going over these questions, and I thought of four. Um, Jesse over at Jesse the Reader, Joseph over at the Booktubinator, Amira over at Amira's Book Reviews, and Greg over at Gregly's reads I think because he started a new YouTube channel. I was laughing because I consider them my friends because I think I talk to them the most in the booktube community but then I thought well what if I think it might be a one-sided thing where I consider them my friends but it's not reciprocal. That happened to me a lot in high school by the way. Those are definitely the people that I talk to most in uh, the booktube community. There's a lot. I'm going to do the booktubers first and then the YouTubers. Now these aren't in no specific order, they're just in alphabetical order. Cassie from over at Cash J Tuck, Ariel from over at Books Unbound, Raylene over at Padfoot and Prongs 07, Camilla over at The Artsy Gal 12, Tiernan over at the Booktuber, and Priscilla over at The Readables. They are my favorite booktubers ever and if they ever subscribed to me I'd probably fall off my bed. And for the YouTubers, now this list is long, so Phil over at Amazing Phil, Birdie over at Birdie Birdie, Bri Bri over at Bri Bri on Tuber, Grace over at Daily Grace, Dan at Dan Does Not Fire, Casper over at Decas, Louie over at Food for Louie, Jack and Finn at Jack's Gap, PJ over at Kick to PJ, Kimmy over at Kimmy Talks, Marcus over at Marcus Butler, Sam over at Official Sam Pepper, Alfie over at Pointless Blog, Tom at Tom Law Music, and Tyler Oakley. Those are all my favorite YouTubers and booktubers, and if they ever subscribed to me, I would die. I would. So that was the Confessions of a Booktuber tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you use any of the Final Cut Pro products, let me know in the comments below if you would recommend them or how you like them, because I would love some input on that. So normally when I do these band recommendations, I would just post a couple songs down below and explain why I like them. But I am going full promo on you guys because I love this band to death and they deserve to get huge. So this band is actually a local band. They are called The Background. I will post all the links over here and I'll also leave the links down below. I will leave a link to their Facebook, their Twitter, a link to their iTunes store. Um, their Instagram name, the YouTube link, and a link to their merch store. I've been a fan of them since around January. Um, I found out about them because Sean, their lead singer, started working where I worked at the time and I sort of got to know him through there and we became friends and I found out about his band and I became a huge fan and I love them to death. I haven't met the rest of the band personally. I know Sean well enough to know that everyone he surrounds himself with are good people. I've talked to a couple of them online. Um, I know I've talked to Ray and uh, James a couple of times. They really do care about their fans, they respect their fans, and they make really good music. They're a rock band with that sort of poppy vibe, you know, when it comes to like how catchy their music is. They released about a month, a couple months ago, um, their video for OK, which I will link up here and I will also leave the link to that down below and I decided to really go out all out when it comes to trying to get you guys to listen to them because they are good people they don't take anything for granted they they really don't I've grown up listening to a lot of local bands I went to local shows multiple times every month growing up there were very few bands that really took everything 
in stride and they are one of those bands that really take what they can get and they're not they don't take it for granted they're grateful for what they got and you know that's something that will get them a long way in the future and I honestly believe that also I wanted to talk about them because this month they are releasing their new single called hands up um, which I am super excited for and you guys should all check out when it's released I don't know when that'll be. Definitely go check them out you guys. They are really good. Just take three minutes out of your day to give them a listen and give them a try because I know that it would really mean a lot to them and it would really mean a lot to me. So definitely go check them out again. Their links will be down below. I'll also be playing a clip of OK at the end of this video so you can sort of check out a preview of that. Stick around to the end of the video and check out the rest of their music if you like. Um, again, it would mean a lot to them and it would really mean a lot to me. I will see you guys for my next video, which I might be posting in a few days. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this video as a whole. If you took the time to listen to the background, which I hope you did, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, the subscribe button out there and there's also other ways to get into contact with me outside of YouTube. I have a Goodreads, a Twitter, a Tumblr, um, an Instagram, and a Facebook which I will leave all the links down below as usual and I will see you guys next time. Bye!